Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at this Sea Sucker Monkey Bars roof rack here on our 2021 Audi Q7. There's actually two crossbar lengths for your Sea Sucker Monkey Bars. One's going to be the 48 inch long crossbars, which is what we have here. The other is going to be the 60 inch long crossbars. So if you feel like you need the extra six inches of overhang, in order to reach your crossbars more easily or for the extra cargo space it's going to work the exact same way as the ones we have right now now so this roof rack system cannot be locked there are no locks on it so i do recommend once you've reached your destination just go ahead pull on those vacuum cups lift them up off of your roof and then you can store them inside your vehicle they actually come apart in the middle if you need them to take up less space now, let's show you how I got these onto the roof. Now, monkey bars are a great option if you have a rental vehicle like this one, or if you need to put your crossbars with a bunch of different vehicles quickly and easily, and you don't wanna have to go through the whole process of installing a custom fit kit. I still prefer using a custom fit kit if possible, but I also use these whenever I need to quickly get a roof rack on, with no fuss, no pressure. So your Audi has a panoramic glass roof here. So while it is going to fit with the glass roof, which is really what the Sea Sucker brand is designed for, you cannot use or open your sunroof while your crossbars are on there. So just remember that it is very easy to take off the crossbars though. If you do want to open up your sunroof, just remember to take that extra time to do so. So speaking of that roof, how about with your accessories? How much clearance do you have underneath the crossbars for those accessories? So from the top of the glass to the bottom of the crossbars, we have four inches of clearance here. So if you have clamps that go around those crossbars, some of those roof baskets have U-bolts with wing nuts, there's plenty of clearance there. You're not worried about scratching your roof. Now for the height added to the top of your roof, measuring from the glass to the top of the crossbar, it's five and a half inches. This is where your cargo is going to sit. So let's say you have skis and snowboards, especially those with extra tall bindings, you wanna make sure you have enough clearance here. This is a lot of clearance, but if you find you don't have enough, that's when you can start checking out the carriers that give you that extra clearance. Now these are round crossbars, and that means they're the more like the traditional style of crossbars. I've actually used these and they work great. I haven't noticed much wind drag or wind noise. The downside is if you have the wrong accessory, they can actually slide on the crossbars if you're not careful. So keep that in mind, check your accessories clamps and make sure that they are compatible with round crossbars. As for crossbar spread, since these are vacuum cup mounted, you can pick wherever you want to mount your crossbars. So measuring from the center of one to the other, I have it about 29 and a half inches apart. I can move it further back, further forward. If your accessories, usually roof boxes, require a certain crossbar spread, you can pick and choose whichever one you want. So before installing, you first need to prep your crossbars. So these are the crossbars. I have them set to a certain width so it fits well on the roof of your Q7, but these are the tools I use. A 12 millimeter wrench, a four millimeter hex wrench, a monkey door set to get the extra height, tape measure just to get the towers in the right spot, as well as a microfiber cloth and some soapy water or some speed shine so that your roof is clean. So to fit inside the glass area of our roof, I set the crossbars to 30 inches apart, center to center. That's where you can put your towers and tighten them down, just to make it easier once you're on your roof. After you've cleaned the surface of your roof, gently set the monkey bars on there, line it up to where you want it to be. You can choose your crossbar spread, this is the spot I want. Make sure the pumps are facing the back and then you're ready to tighten down. While pressing down on your crossbar, depress that pump multiple times until it vacuums up that air and secures itself to the vehicle. 
So once you vacuumed it enough where there's no longer an orange indicator line on all of the pumps, just double check those towers, just checking that everything is secure. But that's it for the install. You're ready to load up your crossbars and hit the road. So some thoughts about the Sea Sucker Monkey Bars on the Audi Q7 is I personally would prefer the longer crossbars. The extra six inches of overhang would be helpful for carrying around different types of cargo. But this one sits right there flush with the flush reels and it looks a lot more sleek. So the 48 inch long crossbars would be perfectly fine. Another thing is this is probably gonna be your best option for quick and easy roof rack. If you can, upgrade to a custom fit kit, but this will get the job done. Just remember to check those accessories and that they are round bar compatible. Other than that, this is gonna be a great way to carry around those fun accessories like roof boxes, roof baskets, or even kayaks. And this right here was a look at the Sea Sucker Monkey Bars Roof Rack Kit for your 2021 Audi Q7.